Hi out there, I'm Barbara Rich and welcome again to another episode of Bifocals. The other guy, Gordon Recusa. I'm a representative not only of uh, Bifocals but of l and Magazine. Um, but you are a representative of Laguna Woods in some ways. You are one of the ambassadors. How many clubs are there here in Laguna Woods? Oh, well over 200. That and pretty much everything you can think of. Except, of course, your new adventure is trying to uh, pull together a, a club for archery. That's right. Why don't we hear it from an expert on the subject, Jennifer Murphy, uh, the recreation supervisor. Hi, I'm Jennifer Murphy, Recreation Supervisor. I've been working in the Recreation Office just over seven years. Um, I help residents start up clubs and help them uh, with all their questions they may have. We currently have 228 clubs. Um, some of our new, new formed clubs would be the Archery Club. We also have the Alkaline Club and the Publishing Club. Um, we never know when we're going to get somebody new in the office, but we're here to assist you. To start off a club, you need to type up a proposal or a mission statement, and then you need to find 20 fellow residents who support the club and want to be members. Um, you would have them write down their phone number, their address, printed name, and also a signature that they do support that club. Um, you'll bring in those documents into the Recreation Division office. It's reviewed by our director, and then normally within about two weeks, you'll receive a letter saying that you've been added to the clubs and organization listing. Once that happens, um, we'll work with the club to get them to set up authorized agents. Um, those authorized agents are people who are the main contact, will receive any mailings in the mail, and then they also are listed with the accounting department should they have an event and need to be billed for either a technician or also um, a bartender. Um, we also uh, have some benefits for clubs. Once you become a club, you have access to the Laguna Woods Village website. Um, you'd work with Heather Rasmussen. She'd give you a login and also a password. You have the ability to upload club information. It could be a special event coming up. It could be a meeting. Um, and if you also have your own website, she can also help set up a link to where our website will link to your website. Um, there's also additional benefits with TV6. Uh, TV6 likes to work with clubs. They give them an opportunity to do a 10-minute interview once a month. Um, you just need to schedule that in advance. You would be on the morning show uh, with Ken Goldenberg. And you also have the opportunity to put information in the Laguna Woods Village Globe. Um, the Globe gives you an opportunity to put in up to 100 words for your regular scheduled meeting. Uh, it will run for two weeks. You need to get that information to them a week in advance. Uh, the cutoff is noon on Friday um, and then if you have any special events uh, they will put those in the paper as long as there's space um, they will also put in a photograph of your entertainer possibly or maybe uh, a picture of something that take, took place at the event that you want to promote and you know talk about how the event went um, there's lots of opportunities clubs are great because they give residents a chance to be social support one another and also you know continue growing and learning with whatever interest they may have another example of clubs uh, getting involved in the community is we have our annual Village Games event where we turn to club presidents to see if they want to potentially uh, volunteer to coordinate a tournament and this year we asked the archery club since they were new we thought it would be great for them to get involved in Village Games um, and they were very happy and excited to do so so we've added them on um, this is a new chance for them to work with staff and also promote their club uh, residents were able to participate in something new and you know meet the club members from the archery club. Um, there are all kinds of other benefits um, with clubs. If you need more information regarding clubs, feel free to give me a call. The recreation office is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30. Uh, we do close from noon to 1 for lunch, or you can reach us at 949-597-4273. Here's someone to tell us a little bit more about the archery club. Hi, I'm Rod Stroop. Uh, I'm with the uh, uh, Archery Club, the newly new in creation Archery Club. For the first time, uh, archery is, is uh, involved or included in the Village Games uh, events. And on Sunday the 27th, we will have our first competition. Uh, it, it proves to be very exciting. Uh, the venue is an excellent venue out in uh, Placentia, uh, Griffin F uh, Fitness uh, Studio. And uh, I hope that uh, we have a really excellent uh, turnout because this will be fun for everyone. Uh, 
chance for people to learn uh, new skills, to build upper body strength, uh, good hand-eye coordination, which is uh, a hallmark of what archery can provide for you, as well as, as mental. Uh, in fact, actually the sport is as much mental as it is physical. Uh, getting the sight picture, uh, re re continuing to be able to repeat uh, your shots. So uh, archery can be an excellent tool for maintaining sharpness, uh, agility, uh, strength as we all uh, continue to age. Uh, but I think the story of how the archery club uh, has progressed is uh, one of truly uh, biblical proportions almost uh, in that uh, archery, establishing archery in Laguna uh, Woods Village is, has turned out to be an odyssey uh, far more complicated I think than most clubs face and yet we've learned from this experience and uh, uh, we think uh, that uh, we will be successful in establishing an archery range here in the village so that people can participate in classes as well as tune their skills, continue to practice, we can hold competitions, and a year from now when the Village Games play out again, uh, archery should be a major event at that time. Uh, we do have a, a number of novices. I have to admit myself that I'm fairly new to the sport, but uh, we have um, uh, 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 Betsy uh, Inger, who is a 17-year uh, veteran of coaching at Mount Sac uh, College. She is a lifetime accredited uh, instructor uh, with USA Archery. Uh, we have Gordon, Gordon Richiusa, who uh, has extensive experience uh, from a martial arts standpoint. So I think you're beginning to see uh, the picture here in that uh, we have a, a complete mix within the uh, membership that the, n the newer people, myself included, can learn from. One of the individuals, Bob Bindle, who was instrumental in helping Gordon establish the club, uh, comes from it from an entirely different angle. Uh, my name is Robert Bindley. I'm originally from Texas. I've been a res uh, resident for since 2002, 12 years. I am a member of two clubs here. The uh, archery club uh, is uh, in the infancy right now that we're trying to promote the safety, uh, health, concentration, and physical development in terms of using archery as a means to as a means to reach those goals. <clears throat> One of the things I would like to impart to people who may be considering starting a club, uh, it's, an, it's, it, it's an adventure to say the least, uh, but I would suggest that you practice the three P's. Certainly you have to be passionate about whatever uh, you're starting out to. You have to be patient because there are some regulations and rules that need to be followed and uh, more importantly you need to be persistent. Persistent in finding other like-minded people uh, who want to uh, join the club and participate in it and actually support the club from both their time and of course eventually dues and, and the, uh, the monetary side of it. So passion, uh, persistence and patience uh, is required in setting up a club and uh, in doing that uh, you'll have success because uh, I think GRF and many other organizations such as the Recreation Department, they see that as a goal to serve and support uh, the membership, or I'm sorry, the village residents in what they want to do. And in the case of archery, uh, we're new at this and uh, there's a very small gathering right now which we expect will grow once classes are offered and we have our own venue uh, here within the village to make it uh, uh, very easy for people to participate. Uh, if it weren't for professional commercial operations on the outside of the village, uh, it would be difficult to uh, garner interest. But no, the club is a nonprofit organization and is dedicated to uh, helping people here within the village uh, learn the sport of archery and be able to practice it. Now, uh, 
I do want to comment, though, that one of the, the, the most, uh, uh, one of the best supporters of the club has been, to date, O.C. Archery. Uh, they have a couple uh, locations, but their main location is on Brookhurst in uh, Fountain Valley. I, I bring them up because a, com a commercial operation, of course, uh, is passionate, just like we are. Uh, they're a professional organization. They have uh, instructors which uh, are certified. And let's face it, we really could not have done it without the help of OC Archery. Let's hear from Roland Clark now. Hi, I'm Roland Clark, Orange County Archery. Well, we're a full service uh, shop. We full retail, full service. Uh, we have indoor range. Uh, let's see, we, uh, we make strings here, unlike uh, some of the others that where they have to order them out, we actually make them here. Uh, we do a lot of, uh, of special tuning, your, your high-end tuning, uh, that uh, the people like the Olympic shooters, uh, uh, the senior Olympics, uh, and, and it's compounds, recurves, longbows, it's everything, full service. So how did you become involved, uh, Roland, in the uh, senior event that we're putting on here at Laguna Woods? Well, we have uh, a lot of those folks from there coming down and shooting with us. And Gordon, you came to me and suggested I get involved with the, uh, the Laguna Woods people, and uh, it's it's a wonderful thing because I that's exactly where I'd like to be and helping everybody there. And and uh, gosh, it's uh, it's something that we all enjoy. So. Uh, that's what we're doing. It's a great sport for seniors. It's a great upper body exercise. The, uh, when you're walking out to your targets, then you, you get your cardio, it, uh, you get your leg exercise as well. No, it's a wonderful sport. And it's a, the nice thing about it is it's, it's something that men and women can do equally well. And uh, in many cases, the girls will show us up. So uh, it, it's a wonderful sport for seniors. Do you compete as well? Yes, I do. When's the last time you competed? Well, I took the bronze in 2009 on the national level. That looks like the lady that was in the globe. Yeah, it is. And Bliss Hill. This heavenly bliss. <laughs> and I'm, I'm John. And are you Laguna Woods residents? Oh, yes. For about 12, 13 Fort, years. Fort, 13 years. years. And are you members of the Laguna Woods Club? Archery club? Yes. Oh yes. Oh, we we haven't signed anything yet. But, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're active members. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And are, are you going to participate in the uh, village games? Well, that's what we're getting ready for. <laughs> I had I won Southern California Regionals back in, oh like in the sixties or seventies. So. But now I don't know if I can even hit the target. Well, you, you just got a bullseye. That's uh, right, but you're going to do it. <laughs> and uh, this would be a great opportunity. And how do you, uh, how do you like these, uh, these practices that you've had over the Orange County Archery? Terrific. Yeah, very helpful. And uh, works real well. Okay. So do you have any advice for anybody else thinking about coming to the event or just uh, joining uh, the club? They should. Every, everyone, uh, if you need help, uh, you get a lot of help, and uh, you ought to join the club. It's fun. Here's John trying out his new bow, and I'm giving a little bit of help to Bliss right here. We're going to take a short break right now, but we'll be right back 